elevation of blood pressure above the normal range is known as hypertension. Blood pressure may be elevated by increasing the circulating blood volume, increasing the cardiac output, or constricting the peripheral vasculature to increase total peripheral resistance. Uncontrolled hypertension leads to significant systemic complications, including cardiomegaly from left ventricular hypertrophy, cerebrovascular diseases such as stroke, hypertensive retinopathy, and hypertensive nephropathy. Hypertension is also a risk factor for accelerated atherosclerosis, leading to angina and myocardial infarction. Congestive heart failure occurs when the heart is unable to pump blood efficiently around the body. Blood returning to the heart is not circulated properly, and the blood becomes congested in the veins and lungs. Left ventricular heart failure results in vascular congestion in the lungs, causing breathing difficulties. Right ventricular heart failure causes blood to accumulate in the legs, abdomen, and liver. Cardiomyopathies are structural and functional abnormalities of the heart muscle. Dilated cardiomyopathy is the most common form. The ventricular chamber dilates and the heart muscle wall becomes thinner, reducing the ventricle's ability to pump blood out into the circulation. Other forms of cardiomyopathy will not be discussed in this video. Inflammatory heart disease may affect the endocardium, myocardium, or pericardium. Infective endocarditis is damage to the inner lining of the heart and the heart valves. Bacteria enter the circulation and attach to the heart valves. Any pre-existing damage to the heart valves makes this attachment more likely to occur. The body's immune system is drawn to this area to mount an inflammatory response against the bacteria. However, this inflammatory response inadvertently damages the valvular tissue. The bacterial, vegetation, and inflammation result in damage to the shape, structure, and function of the valves. The valves may become stenotic or incompetent. Parts of the bacterial vegetation can break off, travel through the circulation, and deposit in a distant organ, causing damage to that organ. These are called septic emboli. Other inflammatory heart conditions will not be covered in this video. Heart valves regulate blood flow through the heart during the cardiac cycle. Cardiac function is impaired if these valves become leaky or narrowed. In mitral regurgitation, an incompetent mitral valve leads to the leakage of blood back into the left atrium during systole. Normally, blood should be flowing into the aorta at this time. Narrowing of the valve is known as stenosis. In mitral stenosis, blood is unable to flow past the narrowed mitral valve and blood accumulates in the left atrium. Congenital heart diseases are a collection of defects in the structure and function of the heart or large vessels that are present at birth. The most common of these are ventricular septal defects, where defects in the interventricular septal wall allow mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Atrial septal defects cause a similar mixing of blood, but are a result of defects in the interatrial septal wall. Other congenital defects will not be discussed in this video. In the horizontal axis, from the outer